folks, it's Bishop Heels from the UCF Forums. How are you guys doing today, baby? Hey, man, it has been a hell of a, hell of a beautiful day today, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I wish I could say the sun has been shining, but it's been raining all day long. So it's been fabulous for a thing. Forget about it. Mm. So I'm here with my boy Addy. And we've been kicking it all day long, let me tell you. But I got fake mail. Damn yeah, it. I got fake mail today. So uh, I want to share it with you. And a special build because a few folks have been asking me a couple of questions. And uh, I think I'm going to answer it here on this video. Um, the COV has been kind so enough to send me, uh, I believe... A limited it's edition a package of the original EP um, opiates. Send me to test the uh, the ceramic the wick. Which of the six song release. Now. There'll be a limited number, so only five thousand will be made. It's also going to just get released a thousand at a time. I test the first batch. Five different times. Uh, more information about There's this on the ceramic wick. Website, Thank you, Bruce. But, uh, the artwork direction is yep. from Adam Jones. So um, and he does a lot of that uh, with. I, I've well. tested it in a Jenny. And uh, more info. Um, cool. I, mean, I showed it to him. Music, and we don't know. Um, but if we're not the, gonna get new the thing tool with this, this year, at wick least it's is uh, it's braided. And it's a wrap. After new prospect, uh, he'll come alive. And it looks. I'm gonna show you. It's gonna look pretty identical with the next step. Wait. Okay. It's the same size. Um, the difference between the two. This one's way cleaner. Very clean. Like the next step wick. Um, I can show you. You get like sparklies in your fingers. And you gotta torch it. And this, I can just do this and look how durable it is. And it doesn't, it doesn't break off at all. Nothing. And as you can see, no sparklies. Nothing. If I were to use it, on, if I were to do that on this, um, I would get sparklies. Uh, here, I'll even strand it a little so. I got like fuzzies. It's not. Um, it, I mean, I'm not saying this is bad. This is still good. Uh, what you can, what I do is I boil it in water, hot water, um, and then I torch it, uh, and I make sure, like, I pass my fingers through it to make sure there's like no sparklies whatsoever. Um, so there's a little bit of maintenance involved in that. On this, however. Uh, I don't need to torch it. It's pretty clean. I mean, I did try torching it on his previous, and uh, there was no need. So, what's going on with this wick? Quite simple. Um, I've tried it on the Jenny. It, it worked, but being that I'm a VG guy, it wasn't ideal. It did work on like the 50-50s. I had some juices from Empire Mods from ours that were 50-50. And those work okay, and I, I told them that. But some of the users have been asking me, well, how does this work on an OD? Well, we're going to do that now. We're going to test it out. Um, and being because of the size, I have to do a special um, dual coil on this. Um, so, because as you can see, it takes pretty much the whole distance of the ceramic okay so it's not like I can put a layer in a layer so how would I do the dual coils well it's a special way it's another way of doing dual coils which I'm going to do uh, first things first I'm going to put this back in the bag and uh, I'm going to cut a piece real soon How you guys doing over there? You know, it's been one hell of a week, that's for sure. So, let me bring this down, and let's get started. Okay, so, here's my Odie. As you can see. Okay, and we're gonna get this working. 
what we're going to do is we're going to make the dual coil. And the way we're going to do that is, here's two pieces of 34 gauge. And what I'm going to do is, they're both the same size. Okay. And I'm going to take a non-resistance wire. I'm going to apply it in the middle. So I'm going to put the non-resistance wire definitely in the middle, like that. Okay. And I'm going to hold it on my nail, just like that. Okay, all three pieces of wires, and I'm going to twist them. Twist, twist, twist. And I'm going to yank. Then what I'm going to do is cut the tail off. We don't need the tail. show you See? there's the two non-resistance wires and this is the long non-resistance wire now now what we have to do is measure the ohms okay okay so I have the wire is mounted. Now I'm going to measure the ohms. And what I want to do is try to keep them within parallel, the same distance as best as possible. That's 0.8 ohms. Let's reduce it a little more. I prefer 0 0.7. And just a little more. There you go, there's my 0.7 ohms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend the two wires. It's marked, it's bent. Cut a piece of this. Now, what I'm going to do is exactly at the marker where it's bent, I'm going to twist. You ready? All right, let's do this, people. Come on. I'm going to twist it a couple of times. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to apply the non resistance wire. Making a hook. Like so. So what you're going to do is, the longest of the wire, you're going to leave down, and you're just going to twist gently 
the small hook. Just a little bit. Okay. Now, with the non resistance wire, the long one, what you want to do is want to stretch it in. Cut the tail off. Now you can cut off. This is one finger in a fist. One resistance wire. ceramic wick and we would wrap this the same way as any other resistance wires you can see see there's two resistance wires on there they're not touching so when you wrap this you want to ensure yourself that they do not touch so you want to wrap this gently that's all gently it doesn't have to be tight just snugged because if you tighten it what's going to happen is it, it's going to start touching and you don't want that so here we go so let me zoom it in for you so you can see it. See? Do not touch it. So I got here about five wraps. Actually six wraps. Because it's two two resistance wires touching each wrap. So it's two, four, six. Got six wraps in there. So now that this is done, we're gonna test this out. Let me get it. Let me focus that for you. All right. So this is a clean Odysseus version two. Take this. Make sure that the coils, the wraps, are not touching each other. It's important. I 
was sliding it in somehow, um, I managed to get two wraps there touching, so I'm just separating it a little. That would avoid shorts and resistance. Losing resistance, you don't want to lose resistance. This is a very special way of making dual coils, which works really good. Um, I, ha I used to build these, but then I got into creating the Highlander styles. But this is a little bit more complicated to build, um, which I'll be more than happy to, to show you guys on uh, Uvu or Skype how to build these. But now the reason why I had to build this is because this is like 116, like the size of the um, the braided wick. It pretty much takes the whole entire space. You can see that. See, so I I couldn't even use like half of this because I would have to rebraid it, like remove most of this braid in order to put it on top. So might as well just use one. And this is on the OD. As you can see, see? It pretty much leaves it flush. Okay? So that's why being out like dual coils, I had to make the coil special to fit my vaping needs. So what I'm just gonna do is just one loop around. Okay positive side and then false flush okay so now I'm just adding some pressure onto the sides now this is a better quality wick than the actual silica wicks um, and I'm pretty glad that COV is experimenting with them because uh, I really wanted to give it a good test on the OD and see how it works um, and then I can do one on the Penelope at a later date but first I wanted to try on the OD and see how she works matter of fact I can do it as an OD drip mode but first um, Every Let's, Wednesday we um, do this at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 Pacific, so you'll get well, to hear live. Nah, the, let's stick uh, with the OD. Top 15 songs. Okay. If you missed it before, maybe you're gonna miss Let me it again. Get the ring. Don't worry, we have it on demand, so you can listen whenever you want. That way it holds. And find out the top songs of the week. So definitely make sure that is part of your listening experience. More info also online at SiriusXM.com. Here's new I Empire. Okay. I'm going to cut some of this negative wire. I want to Vaseline the O-ring because I got a Vaseline the O-ring baby he has to get lubricated oh yeah oh yeah mm-hmm mm-hmm just a little bit okay Put them onto the base. Let me in, let me in. Don't worry, I'm pushing you in, baby. Forget about it. You're gonna be vape like there's no tomorrow. So here we go. And this is 34 gauge two pieces of resistance wires is what I used okay so it's on okay 
very neat. Looks beautiful. Looking beautiful. Let me show you. Very beautiful. Six wraps. Well, six wires that are wrapped. Really, it's three wraps times two, so it's six. Now, let's tuck the rest of this ceramic quick so we can test it on the pan at a later date and even on the OD drip. Well, for the OD drip, I would actually change the base from here and put it in here. That's it. But let's let's see how she she works. Um, I mean, GGTS baby. Answered call. Okay. Nina, 18650. And MNKE, baby. Ooh, answered call. Nice. Okay, so we're going to need an upper tube. Answer call. Ooh. Okay, so now we're going to need. That's. This ready. Okay. Here we go. Firing pin. Rolling in. Also going to need the collector tank. Air control. Whoosh. Here we go. And here we go. Add this puppy in there. Okay, let's try. Let's see what you see. Oh, beat tobacco. Oh, I love this juice. Love it, love it, love it. In fact, shake it. Just add a little. Actually, before I start. Firing it up, I just want to dab just a little bit. Now, this is all VG, so this is going to go through a major test now. Oh, yeah, she, 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 she's pumping all right. Let's soak this up a little, okay. Now, before I continue, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put this on. So we can measure the ohms. Oh, like I'm trying to hold it steady without it moving. So we're at 0.8 ohms. Okay. 0.8 ohms. From a thousand foot crutch, this is Fly on the Wall. The other night, I had a dream. It was a world full of kings and queens. Add some more juice. Wow. That wick has to get saturated. Okay, so it's pretty saturated, I would think, right now. So I'm just going to put in the mouthpiece. Okay. 
I'm gonna vape it first like if it was a drip, okay? I'm not putting in the tank or the juice yet. Oh. Hey folks, okay. So, let's recap. I put in here a ceramic whip, okay? Ceramic whip, not whip. Girls, ladies, wait till vape bash, forget about it. Anyway, here we go. You got juice in there. Let's give it a whale and see how. Yeah. Oh, air control. Let's open it up. Uh huh. Be nice to put some air in there. Strip some more. Point eight ohms. I like point six. getting some juice from the side from the mouthpiece because I didn't put the tank in um, but uh oh hell yes she's putting out baby she's putting out Bruce mmm Really good. just to saturate the sides of the wick. Okay, I'm gonna leave it about a half a turn open. All right, here we go. Oof, ah. Really good. The wick is really, really wicking, and it's really, really good. It's new. It um, it needs to be broken in, but as you can see, mm. she's kicking butt. Now, like I said, I've done this on a Jenny. It doesn't agree that well with VG. Well, you have to think about it because it doesn't saturate it that quick, even if you have it down like this. But on PG juice, it's ideal for that. However, on this, being that the juice is above the actual ceramic, and this is your juice control, so as you unfasten it, juice is going down to it so it's actually 
working more ideal on here as well. So, mm. Really nice. Really nice. Bruce, we got a winner, baby. We got a winner. I like it. It's a whole lot better than the next tails. It's cleaner. Um, it's definitely cleaner. So it saves me those steps of boiling it, of um, cleaning it out, getting all the sparklies out. Um, it's very durable. Now, I will do a follow-up video when I'm about to clean it to see how how durable it is versus the next tail. Okay? Um, contains news and information suitable for fans of pure hard rock all right so with that i'm gonna let you guys go live hard and vape hard baby i'll put on the link down below as far as for cov but i don't know if they're gonna have this for sale yet i'm just testing it but it is it's hitting like a champ baby mm. ceremony happening may 2nd hell or high water will open up the bill and so far it's scheduled to kick off really good in portland maine for Sirius XM Music News, my name's Kayla, and that's your Hardline Report on Octane. Delicious. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, Bruce, for sending this out to me uh, to test it, and I have to give it two thumbs up, bro. I mean, seriously, if it, if it wasn't good, I'll tell you straight out, I'm not going to hold anything back, and it's pretty good. I give it two thumbs up, but it's all up to the vaping community, you know, how they're going to use it and how they're going to like it. To me, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's working for me. It's accomplishing my fate. I had to redo my coils, though, in order to do my, my dual coils. But it's not a problem. But how many people will be able to do that, I don't know. Um, it is a little bit more of a complicated build. But if they like twisties or single coils, it'll work also just as fine. That I can vouch for. But as far as for the dual coils, you're not going to be able to do the dual Highlanders. Um, but I can show you how to make this kind of dual coil, but you definitely need a multimeter for it, okay? Mm. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to let you guys go because I really really want to vape my rear end off on this one But with that, I'll let you go. Have a nice day, babes.